All right, so this team right here, I just wanted to add the Noble Garden Bunny into a team since his stat lineup and abilities are uh, basically the same as an Arctic Hare. He has Flurry, Dodge, and Burrow all in three different rows, uh, which are the really good moves to have for a rabbit. The difference between him and a normal rabbit is that he has a little bit less speed and also a little bit more attack power for as a normal rabbit has 357 speed which makes him faster than pretty much uh, everything but flying type pets where the noble garden bunny at 341 speed makes him faster than everything but flying type pets and makes him even in speed with pets like the uh, what's it called the death adder hatchling or other really fast beast type pets so not as good as the arctic hair except you don't really run into many of those so it's not really a big deal he still outspeeds all of the the meta fast pets and uh, so having a little bit more attack power i think is pretty good trade-off for that so just dodge and burrow i do kind of want to try egg barrage but then you'd give up dodge which is his best ability if only egg barrage was in the third row i could probably give up burrow for egg barrage but not dodge uh, and then his other two pets uh we're chosen at random to be completely honest i just had a team already set and i just replaced the noble garden bunny with the first slot and i was like uh, i can leave these two mechanical pandaren dragonline is a good pet servant of demidas not really but i kind of wanted to see how he would do because uh, he does a lot of damage with soul rush and magic sword and siphon anima he's able to heal up a little bit with that not very good against the meta but pretty good against pretty much everything else because of just his insane attack power value and having strong attacks to take advantage of that all right wasn't expecting this um hmm how should i deal with this team should i start off with the noble garden bunny or go for cyberstein since he has an advantage i guess the mechanical pandaren dragonling <laughs> Um, I can preemptively throw out a decoy. Oh, look, there's a little tiny colored egg. Is that something that he does? I knew I would take Haunt. The reason I have this up is because, uh, I'm trying to dodge the sweep. Is it called sweep? Yeah. The switch out. Because I basically just accept that I'm going to take the Haunt. Unless I want to start off with my Noble Garden Bunny, in which case he'd probably... I don't know, play some mind games with me and try to dodge it and shit. And in this way, I don't have to worry about that. Is he going to go for a dodge right off the bat? I don't know. Let's go for Thunderbolt. Just in case. A little bit of damage to the back row. He's going to have to attack me twice if he wants to get rid of my decoy. Uh, in which case, my best bet is to actually just stay in on the mechanical Pandaren Dragon Lean and just attack that seems to be the best way to do the most amount of dps since i didn't really plan on facing a tarot claw hatchling team today i guess i should just plan on going against them all the time oh shit he has claw that means noble garden bunny is not gonna do well against him like at all Oh, and I'm not doing enough damage to hurt him. He's gonna have another dodge already. Wow. That sucks. Uh, is he gonna keep going for damage? Oh, that's, that's an unlucky crit. Of course, all crits could be considered unlucky, I guess. Um, damn it, I'm just gonna have to let him die or... Or take a hit right there, I guess. And then die right here. Okay. Alright, social justice warrior. Time for you to do your thing. Come on. Get a nice stun. Oh! That was great. Uh, he got his heal off, though, so he could just switch out. And it's not really a big deal, because he'll heal up to full. In which case, I have social justice warrior here. Or the servant of Demidas to do maximum damage before that comes out and in which case the tarot claw hatchling is gonna hurt he's gonna be able to switch me out uh... if he goes into the broom i'm gonna try to predict a switch and 
and switch into my bunny. That way he switches me back into the servant of Demidas. Alright, good switch. Now I can go for a heal and then another soul rush. Whew, I'm glad that worked. <laughs> Every time I try to predict a switch like that, it never really works out the way I want it to. So it's always a risk doing that. I guess it's nice that I have one of my pets dead, so the switch was guaranteed to go back into my Servant of Demidas. Oh, that sucks. That really hurt. But I also did a lot of damage to him. Oh, he switched. Uh, I guess because he knew he was going to get the kill right there. Uh, that was not a good switch. Come on, Noble Garden Bunny. Noble Garden Bunny. I believe in you. I know you can do this. I do have a chance to kill his entire team if I get lucky with my triple hits. Which I'm not sure that's going to happen, especially since he healed up and then switched out immediately. Whew. Oh man, this is... This is gonna suck. He went for a heal too. Wow, <laughs> that sucks a lot. Uh, especially since the reason I was somewhat comp... I'm, I'm probably gonna die. He has an advantage. He's faster than me now. He can just go for a dodge. The only way I can really hurt him is with Burrow, since I'm gonna have to be hoping for double hits on Flurry, and that never happens, so... I'm just going to have to go for my own dodge here. Just to try to mitigate damage. Oh, that crit sealed it. I lost. Damn it. Well, uh, those were good plays by my opponent. He had the better team to start off with. But if I played it right, I had a chance to win. Uh, my opponent played it very well, though. Especially since he had that team heal. Who the hell has a team heal on there? Uh, what is it called? Wicked Soul. He does, and it totally helped him. Uh, it probably didn't win him the game, if I'm being completely honest. It was just smart play in his Terra Claw Hatchling, getting his hot up and switching it out. Uh, but that team heal kind of like secured the win for him. Alright, so this one right here is pretty bad for my team, maybe? Depends on who he opens up with. If he starts off with the Anubis Sath Idol, I'm screwed with my bunny, but I should be fine with the other two. Servant of Demidas seems to have a good matchup against his whole team, though. So I'll start off with that, and just spam Magic Sword for uh, a deflection. Oh, nice. Looks like he tried to predict a soul rush, and I predicted uh, a deflection right off the bat. Well, I wouldn't say I predicted, it's more like I was being careful. And now it's time to use Siphon Anima Soft Cooldown, because it likes to miss under Sandstorm. Literally all the time. Luckily, I hit a lot harder than him, but I also have a lot less health than he does. Uh, so this isn't gonna... I have to get lucky with my hits. Is he gonna deflection, or is he gonna wait for soul rush? Nope, deflection right off the bat. Deflection, when he's not using it to counter one of my abilities, just helps me out more than it does him. Uh, because it allows my abilities to come off cooldown. Come on, stun, stun, stun. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Ooh, Siphon Anima, Siphon Anima. Get a heal. Ooh, nice. Sandstorm went away, got a full heal off of that. I should be able to last one more turn. Oh no, time to go into my Noble Garden Bunny because he can destroy the decoy in one turn. Isn't that right, Noble Garden Bunny? One, two, and triple hit. Ha, you piece of garbage. Oh shit, a bomb. I, I can just deflect it with Burrow. Oh. A Chrominius, huh? Well, shit. Should probably switch out into my mechanical pender and dragon lane unless he has arcane explosion. He has howl, huh? Well, let's decoy this shit. Yep, surge of power. How did I guess? 
I must be some kind of genius. Or, um, that's the most predictable thing from Chrominius, that I was actually surprised he did it because I thought it was all a ruse to do something else. Nope, he played it straight. That gives me a nice insight into his, uh, his mind, though. I can predict him a lot more easily now that I know he tried to go for a HAL surge of power combo while I had a mechanical Pandaren Dragonling out who was faster than him with decoy off cooldown. It's a good way to know that, um, I have more experience in pet battles than he does. Isn't that right, Noble Garden Bunny, who's going to rip through his decoy in one turn again? One, two, and three. Ouch. Well, let's go for the dodge right here. I can burrow to avoid the bomb when it's about to come down. I'll just, I'll just save it instead of using it right after dodges off cooldown. Oh, wow, they aligned perfectly. <laughs> All that worrying for nothing. And with your tiny bit more attack power, let's see how much damage that does. Enough to take him out with a crit. Okay, well, my chances of winning this uh, were already very good once I took down his Anubisath idol. Looks like I'm going to go for a perfect victory with no losses. No problem. Oh man, this team is just too good. Okay, so... Um, I actually went against the Terra Claw Hatchley team again, and I lost really big time because the player is really good, and his team is better than mine. So, uh, final analysis for this team. Not half bad, considering the completely random choice of Servant of Demidas. Uh, usually if you're doing a team with a new pet, you want to have like two consistent pets that you know work out well. Uh, and not have another experimental one with Servant of Demidas in a meta team, I should say. He's, you'd be fine if it wasn't, you know, like a meta team, but it is. Uh, Mechanical Pandaren and Dragoline's always a very safe choice, even after they nerfed Thunderbolt. Uh, he was already a tier 1 pet before he had Thunderbolt. So nothing has really changed, and the power creep has surprisingly not gone up that much. If anything, it's gone down a lot ever since Warlords, where the power creep was probably at its one of the all-time highs with all those AoE teams and the Noble Garden Bunny performed as well as I thought he would. I almost want to experiment with Egg Barrage. 